in a modern urban context 40 yards might not be possible due to weather conditions and other prevailing conditions and other functionality conditions we plan to have a double height area inside the house and the functioning of the house was such that that all the spaces are connected to that double height area and whenever people move from one space to another space they have a interaction and that is the idea of the whole house the site is located in outskirts of gurgaon it's basically sector 110 this family basically of five people who are staying in the house and the client and his wife are a mid aged couple they have a daughter and a son the family originally belongs to rajasthan so they had spent their childhood in courtyard houses in rajasthan the traditional houses we have so they had a lot of aspirations from the new house the area is basically a mix of unregulated plots so basically our site is on a 24 feet wide street so this street terminates on a green plot which is adjoining the dwarka expressway on this side and our plot is currently on this space and there are few plots on the other side of our plot plot is north facing project has an advantage of having a wider street and also it has an advantage of terminating on a dead end that allows very minimal vehicle movement on main street we have a small tree on the northwest corner of the plot that basically frames the elevation of the house so we had only north and south direction of our house that would allow us to have light inside the house the family is a close knit family they spend most of the time together the idea was to have a connected house so that the family's bonding remains as we studied them so this house basically has two floors and it has a small gazebo on the terrace floor the floor heights of the double height space which is around 24 feet high is the core of the house that also makes it a duplex house we have two volumes on both north and south side so these are the two floors and this is the volumetric space which is also the double height area of the house so the whole area acts as a light well into the house and also this double height is a interaction space for all these areas because it was intended to be a very minimal project so we choose the color white it feels more airy inside outside and the volume feel much bigger in a white house and secondly the screen is the main element of the house that we see when we first have a glance towards the house this screen is a high volume that is framed around with a 12 inch brick wall we have a gazebo on the top which visually goes down to form a screen on the front and this is the terracotta screen we have a living area we have the bedrooms on the top on the back side we have the guest room on the ground floor there's a kitchen on the back side of the guest room and on top floor we have the master bedroom we enter the house from this gate which is in northeast and in northwest we have a green area and from the lawn we have a one entry as we move further we have a parking space for two cars in the outside area since the building is kept white uh, we have used dark color flooring in the parking and the portico and rest of walls have been kept white with washable enamel paint in the interior walls so these are the slit windows that we have designed that it are integral connection between the living area and the parking area and this uh, slit windows have this minimal grills that have been custom made in ms this is the main entry to the house and this entry open ups into a formal living room which has a view towards green area the living room is basically a very clean large volume it has light entering from all sides like the parking area the lawn area and also from the double height skylight in the north side of the living room we have a huge window which is 8 feet high and 8 feet wide so this window allows lot of shaded natural light to enter into the room 
so this makes the room feel airy at all times we have a portico in the front which is also connected to the lawn also the slits in the house act as a security feature in kind of way that people who are sitting in the living room have kind of watch over the parking area that who is entering and who is going out of the parking area we have used niches as a design element in terms of breaking away the minimal spaces so this niches also act as a space for family photographs and other decors to be kept and this niches are basically forms of alas that we used to have in traditional homes the clients uh, didn't have much liking towards many furnitures in the house so idea was also to keep very minimal and practical furnitures that purely solve the purpose of utility other than looks as we move further we have a double height with the staircase and there is a dining area also we have a composition of glass brick and terracotta which allows natural light throughout the day and a white staircase which is fabricated in metal goes up to the first floor the staircase feels like it's floating in the air because it has been kept white and it has been designed as such overall the house is very clean and minimal so we thought that we should have some rustic elements in the house that break the monotony of the house so we have a exposed brick wall which is painted in light gray shade this spans to the ceiling of the double height area and this rawness of the wall also continues on the ceiling of the double light area which is kept in exposed concrete and this exposed concrete has skylights in form of glass bricks which has been combined with terracotta pots which have been cast in a slab in monsoon we can see drops of water falling on them and these drops create a very pleasing visual effect and sound into the double light area If we go into the top, we have small niches, small light elements that add a bit of detail and also use for decor in the house. In the east zone, we have a puja room, which is always viewed while entering and leaving the house. The design of the puja room itself is very minimal. A very simple wallpaper has been used on the background wall, and this is the only wallpaper or the textured element that we have incorporated in the house, so that the puja room has its own different identity. and in the south east corner we have a kitchen room which is attached to a utility area and in this portion we have a breakfast counter which is attached to the kitchen as the female of the house and she loves cooking so she spends most of the time in the kitchen so while cooking she can interact with the kids with this room it would be used by the most important a member of the family client's wife location of the kitchen was to be such that that when the kitchen is being used by her she is not disconnected from other areas of the house she can have a view towards the main gate at all times for this we have a glass partition between this puja room and the kitchen and again we have a huge window on the entry wall so that the person in the kitchen is always connected to the main door In the south zone we have a rear entry and which is connected to a 4 feet wide service lane. In the back veranda we have a metal staircase which goes from ground floor to up to the terrace. As we move to the first floor through this staircase which is in double height we directly enter to the family lounge which is the common space for three bedrooms. In the front part of the site we have a two kids room this room is for the daughter and the bigger room is for the son which has a attached toilet each and it is further connected to a balcony which overlooks into the green lawn since the client daughter will be using this room and she is a very artistic person so we had to match her artistic ability to design a room for her so in this room we have a small 4 by 6 bed instead of a large king size or queen size bed this allowed space for her to have volume for doing her artistic activities and making paintings and all the stuff there's a long study area in this girl's room the daughter's bedroom is connected to a balcony that's 
around 8 feet by 7 feet in size. The son's room is around 14 by 16 feet in size, good size room. So this room is very minimal. Uh, we have a wardrobe and a study space, which are gray and wooden in color. And this son's room also has a balcony connected to it because it likes to sit outside at times and enjoy the weather. In the rear part of the plot, we have a grand master bedroom with a dressing and a toilet area. This master bedroom is connected to a balcony and act as a landing for the staircase which is coming from the ground floor and going towards the terrace. The biggest bedroom is the master bedroom which is one of the most spacious area of the house. Since we have a building which is G plus 2 on the back side of the plot, we had to have a layout that maintains the privacy of the clients and still allowing natural light to enter into the house. We have two windows on either side of the bed and also on the two sides of the bed, we have a two feet wall that basically shields the bed and provides some kind of privacy when viewed from outside. Coming to this console, this console was refurbished from the old house and used with the current house's theme of grey and light grey laminate. And the same laminate have been used in the bed also on the back side. And these minute grooves were added to add a hint of detail in this into this bed and the light color of the same laminate has been used in this floating bed which has been custom designed for this area. A general conception is that the minimal houses are very easy to design because they look very simple at the first glance but the reality is totally opposite. The minimal houses are very difficult to design because in terms of choices we have to make very bold choices and these choices we make make a very bigger impact on the final outcome of the design. This house we believe would inspire many people to have an open house in terms of light and ventilation and they would definitely look this house as an example that how people should live. <laughs>